Everyone loves chat GPT. People want to know what's next. And that would be GPT-4. Now, what in the world is it? When is it coming out? All of these things. We're going to talk about it because there's not a lot of information, but um, there's some things on Twitter and some articles. So we're going to talk about it. First of all, what in the world does GPT even stand for? Well, it's Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. So we're at GPT-4 right now. If you have used ChatGPT, they're using 3.5. We're going to be going to 4. So how is it that much better? What's going on here? Well, in one article, it mentions that GPT-4 is significantly larger and more powerful than GPT-3. With 170 trillion parameters compared to GPT-3's 175 billion parameters. Now, how can you even imagine that? Well, that's why we have this picture. Linus on Twitter showed you the difference of the parameters, how different that is, because it's a giant number. But what does that even mean? With this many parameters, why is this important? Well, this allows you to have a more powerful result. This allows you to have mo more of a coherent result. result. It can move faster, and then also it can have a wide range of different other tasks that it can be doing. That's all with GPT-4. Now, the format, what will be the format of GPT-4? We have what chat GPT will look like will be similar. From what the reports are, it's going to be similar to chat GPT. It's going to be text-based. You're going to be able to have a conversation with it. That's what the reports are right now. But it's also assumed that you're going to be able to use it similar to GPT-3. So you can be, you know, using the API, using it more. Um, you can integrate it with your project or whatever you're doing a little bit more than what chat GPT, where you're either just using it like this, or some people have been using makeshift or uh, creating things to use this haphazardly or not as well as the token. Okay. So we have how powerful it is, the format. So when is it going to be released? Well, there's no specific date, but people are guessing that it's going to be the first quarter of 2023. So in the next couple of months, we're going to be able to have access to it. So how are you going to be able to access it? Well, similar to how OpenAI has done, I assume they're going to do something similar with uh, GPT-4. You're going to have to sign up for it. And if you don't have an account yet for OpenAI, go create one because there will probably be a waiting list. And if you are one of the people that have an account, you're already going to be having a leg up than anyone else. Now, what are you trying to create with ChatGPT or what have you heard about GPT-4? Let me know in the comment section down below. And, you know, if this is wrong, what else is going on? Some people think that GPT-4 will allow, you know, robots to take over the world. I don't think so. We'll find out and uh, we'll find out in the next couple of months. All right. Like and subscribe. All right.